Yo, what is going on YouTube? A lot of you guys were complaining that the boss is super hard in Rogue Slayers. So in today's video, I'm going to be hopping in Rogue Slayers and telling you guys exactly how you can solo the boss. I'm going to demonstrate it. I should be able to do it. It's actually, it is kind of difficult solo. That's why you typically have a party system. You can just invite people and it'll automatically teleport them with you. But I'm pretty sure you can do it solo. So we're going to give it a try. Uh, first and foremost, let's spawn in the safe zone really quickly. Press M. You're going to want to make a party. And then once you create a party, you can actually go ahead and fight the boss. So what you're going to want to do, you go up in here. We're going to spawn at the battlefield. Then, oh no, this guy's going to make it before me. Huh. Okay, I think... <laughs> okay. So first off, unknowing fire on him. You can actually use it. From a range there we go sorry i wasn't getting the hitbox right so that was okay okay let me turn this down because this is loud so first off the boss has three abilities the one is the rock throw if you just keep in a frontal position he's not going to hit you so once he does that does those two arm swings which is those move right here you're going to want to immediately back out get our knowing in dodge out of that okay ow okay he's going to go one two and then we're going to rush in now that is what we are actually going to want to watch out for. So let's not get hit by that. Let's go in. He's going to back up. Get that hit real quick. Dodge out of that. He's going to double swing. Yeah, so you can see that roar is doing a ton of damage. So now we're going to try to telegraph the roar back out real quick okay let's go ahead and dodge that all right so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to dodge the roar so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to just kind of try to run into like a circular motion around the boss and then it will get hit him out of range make sure you get your unknowing fire as well Let's go ahead and dodge this way. So he's gonna roar. Boom, immediately gone. Back out. Oh my gosh, we actually got hit by that. That's bad. Yeah, that does a ton of damage as you can see. Okay. All right, you know what, let me just, if we get hit by a roar, we're gonna die. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda back out a little bit. Uh, let's try to bait the roar again. Can you roar, sir? <gasps> okay, now I know he's definitely going to roar soon. Crap. He still hasn't roared? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Stodge that really quickly. Okay, so he's probably not going to use Roar in a minute. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I thought he was going to roar me. 
Okay, let's uh, bait out the roar really quickly. Ow. Yeah, that arm swing does a ton of damage. You don't want to get hit by that. Nice. Holy crap, if we got hit by that. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Chill, boss. Okay, I don't think he's gonna roar. <sighs> yeah, we can't tank that because if he hits that and then goes into a roar, we're gonna get comboed. Yeah, see, imagine he hit that rock throw on us as well. Let's not get hit by that, please. Appreciate it. Yeah, even solo, it's not that easy, to be honest. Okay. Holy crap. Oh! Die! Okay. Boom. 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 And sometimes you can also get auras from beating the boss. And so you're probably like, what do I use the yen? Also, make sure, look, as soon as you guys join the game, what you're going to want to do is go to codes, use this code, um, RSO release, wait, RSO release 2024, use that code. Boom. We already redeemed it, so we can't. And then use the code 25K visits. Boom, that's gonna give you 15,000 yen. And then what you could do with your yen is basically, let me show you. Okay, so I just withdrawed some money from the bank. So you can actually go ahead and roll some auras so you could get, boom, 25K. Wait, that just spent all of mine. Okay, so you got green, boom, purple, boom. Dang, we actually got a 5% fire. Uh, mist, nice, that's super rare. Water in them are so beautiful, man. I've trying to been trying to get them myself. And then you can also get some Hashira swords as well at the blacksmith. And killing the boss isn't the only way you could get Yen. You could also do the assassination quest and then the other quest over here, which like allow you to do. You could just select which one you want to do. So if you'd beat the hand demon boss five times, you get that. Ten times five thousand, that's a ton. And then you can also go to this shop over here and get any one of these custom Nichirin swords over here and then you go to your inventory boom 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 and then you can actually equip one of these so we could go you got your thunder cosplay you have your thunder sword so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and it makes you guys redeem those uh points for sure